Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to learn about a 5 volt to 3.3 volt converter. It means we have a sensor. We have an analog sensor and it gives out 0 to 5 volt. And we have a microcontroller microcontroller and this can take the analog input can take 0 to 3.3 .3 volt. So what we need we want a conversion from not 0 to 50 0 to 5. This is 0 to 5, okay? 0 to 5 volt to 0 to 3.3 .3 volt. So it is a continuous variation, it's not the level. So how do you do that? Simply what we can do? Make a voltage divider. This is 5 volt and we need here 3.3 .3 volt. So in practical applications, we won't allow it to go to 3.3. .3. We will select the resistors in such a way, maximum value is going to be 3 volt for the safe operation of the, so that the limit won't go beyond the VCC of the microcontroller. So if we choose 1K resistor and 2K resistor, now we will get 3.3 .3 volt resistor, 3.3 .3 volt output when we apply 5 volt we get 3.3 .3 volt so it is very simple but this is not sufficient why do i tell you see now what is the current flowing through this circuit in this condition it is going to be 1.6 milliamps let us assume that my load is a 470 ohm resistor Now what happens if I connect 470 ohm resistor, this current increases, this 1.6 milliamps will go increases because it's a parallel resistor, increases to 3.6 milliamps. Also what happens, instead of 3.3 .3 volt, we will be getting only 2.3 volt. No, no, it will be 1.3 volt. So what happened? Our entire purpose has gone. We wanted, when the input is 5 volt, we wanted the output 3.3 .3 volt. It was right. But when I connected my 470 ohm resistor load, immediately the V out has become 1.3 volt. So this circuit is not, uh, not the one we need. We need something better solutions. So what we do in such kind of applications, what we have to do? We use a op-amp in voltage follower mode. So, I am using LM324 IC. So, it has got four op amps. One of that I am going to use to make this circuit. So, this is a third pin is a non inverting, second pin is a inverting, and first is the output. Then we have to apply the supply and ground for the respective pins. That is 11 and 4. But then what we have to do? Now, whatever the circuit we had, that is the voltage divider. The same voltage divider I will use. So this is 1K resistor, it is 2K resistor. If you don't have a 2K resistor, we can 
add two one k resistors in series that is what i will make i will use to make the circuit so now this is a simple circuit but what is the difference uh, this this voltage follower configuration can provide more current now if i connect 470 so now here output is going to be 3.3 .3 volt at the voltage divider point and pin number 1 output is going to be 3.3 .3 volt if i connect 470 ohm resistor as load then also the current is going to be no no the voltage output is going to be 3.3 .3 volt only there is no change and that means we are drawing a current of around 7 milliamps current will be flowing through this load even then the voltage is stable so this is more than enough to interface with a microcontroller so that when the sensor voltage varies here from 0 to 5 volt our output will vary from 0 to 3.3 .3 volt for a good circuit design we should make sure this this 5 volt when it reaches 5 volt the the here the mid the this voltage the here the voltage should not go above 3.2 volt because our supply voltage is for the microcontroller supply voltage is 3.3 .3. so always we will try to keep it 3 volt that is 3 or 3.1 volt max so that is the good circuit design so if we connect now i have connected one 120 ohm resistor also instead of rl when rl equal to 120 ohm the current through the load that is il i will write it il is about uh, 25 milliamps but the voltage has dropped to 2.8 volt now i hope you got the feeling how to use the circuit now the breadboard we will make it and we will test it and what else we will use this circuit for practical applications let's go to the breadboard so as i explained to you i have made the 5 volt to 3.3 volt converter so this we use for the sensor applications that means our sensor output is going to be a 5 volt but our microcontroller input is is going to be 3.3 .3 volt in practice okay let's see how the circuit works how the circuit so if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button let's continue so for this i have used the lm324 ic and i have made use of only one op amp as we have seen in the board now and for this circuit this this volt this meter shows the volt meter this is a voltage meter so what is the input voltage input voltage to the circuit is 4.99 that is 5 volt is the voltage uh, then so uh, then i made a voltage divider see here we are getting 5 volt using three 1k resistors i made the voltage divider because 2k single resistor i didn't have so i made using three 1k resistors so this is the voltage divider midpoint what is the voltage what is the voltage reading of this meter it is 3.3 volt what is our input voltage it is 4.9 roughly we can take it as 5 volt for the calculation sake 5 volt it is and then and now what is the out, output of this op amp that is we have made this voltage this uh, op amp as a voltage follower to increase the current or to increase the driving capability so pin number one is the output so there i have connected this 470 ohm resistor so there is reading 3.27 volt 
that is there is no drop in the voltage after conducting the load this 470 ohm resistor act as load let's measure what is the current current through this 470 ohm resistor so let me use some current meter okay let's see the current meter what is the current flowing through this it is showing 6.9 6.9 milliamps 6.9 milliamps is the current flowing through the 470 ohm resistor now so but our voltage was 3.3 .3. it was almost 3.3 .3. it was around 3.27 let's try to uh, change this resistor load resistor and connect uh, another load resistor and see what current it can deliver so i am taking a 120 ohm resistor and to this voltage follower i am connecting this 120 ohm resistor as the load now let's see what is the current so it is giving 24.8 milliamps so we are continuously drawing 24.8 milliamps current from the voltage follower so what is what happened to the voltage whether voltage is at 3.3 .3 volt see the voltage has dropped 2.8 volt so when the load increases that means the load resistor value reduces when we draw more current from it the voltage is dropping but we are getting around 7 milliamps without any drop that is more than enough to more than enough current to interface with a microcontroller now i hope you got the basic idea how to use voltage follower to integrate signals with the microcontroller so thanks for watching next we'll see you with a interesting video